In this video, I will go over the best practices for removing most, if not all, of your stuttering and lag in Fortnite. Whether you have a PC, console or smartphone, this guide should be able to help you. First of all, let's get into the game engine that Fortnite uses. Since it's an Epic Games exclusive and made by the company, Fortnite uses Unreal Engine 5. This means that when it comes to stuttering issues, we can mostly look at graphical settings because Unreal Engine 5 is known to be much more graphics than CPU intensive. Let's start with the PC. First of all, look at the graphic requirements for the game. Did you look at it? Now throw that in picture in the trash. <laughs> graphic requirements are for the weak minded. Let's get to the actual game settings. As soon as you are in the game settings, you should be on the display tab. Here you want to make sure your game is on full screen mode. Full screen windowed is okay, but it gives you a bunch of input latency which sucks. So let's move on from that. Then you want to set your game to 1080p or whichever resolution you are playing on. I would still recommend 1080p though. Set VSync off at all times, otherwise your game will be capped at the refresh rate of your display and yet again introduce a bunch of input latency. Set your frame rate to unlimited or you can actually cap that at 165 FPS if you're getting a lot of FPS but struggle with micro stutters. Then you want to set your rendering mode to DirectX 12. Skip all the rest until you get to motion blur, set that off immediately. It's dumb and gives your system a bunch of motion crap to render with the game, so that's just a bad, bad idea overall. And you should be ashamed of yourself if it's, if it's on in the first place. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> then get to the graphics quality settings. Scroll down until you get to the anti-aliasing and super resolution. Whether you are on AMD or NVIDIA, I would recommend you use TSR on either high or epic. For some reason, I have gotten much worse stuttering with DLSS than what I did with TSR. Put shadows on medium since you don't need that high level shadowing in the game and it just uses unnecessary performance. Put global illumination on off. You can keep reflections on screen space, if it hurts your performance just set that off immediately. Set everything from view distance to effects on medium, then set post processing to low. Moving on to the advanced graphics, you should set your show FPS to on. So you can actually see what your FPS is and if you have an Nvidia graphics card you can set the Nvidia reflex low latency to on. That should give you the best middleman between good FPS and a decent image quality. The last thing I would do is to close Fortnite and go into the Epic Games launcher. Go to your game and click on the three dots. From there you go to your options and enable pre-downloaded textures. That will install a further about like 27 gigabytes, but it reduces your stuttering by a lot. If you just want the best possible performance however, you can just set your presets to performance mode where that switch is between DirectX 11, 12 and yeah, you'll see. When you get to that, just set it to performance mode. If none of these worked, you should check out your PC for apps running in the background and taking most of your resources by pressing Ctrl, Shift and Escape to open your task manager and clicking on the percentages to filter it to most used. Those apps use the most of your system and you can then see if you can recognize any weird or unnecessary apps and close it. If you're a gamer that loves to see your best FPS games on YouTube, hit me with a subscribe and help me get to my goal of 7,000 subscribers by the end of March. We're almost there and to get you into Wano Army would be a great addition. Moving on to the consoles. The first thing you want to do is clear your cache and this is how you do that. On PS4 you can just power the console off and unplug the power cord from behind the PlayStation. Keep it like that for about 30 seconds and then plug it back in. That should clear your cache. On PS5 it's a little bit more advanced. Turn the console off then press and hold the power button of the console until you hear the second beep. This should indicate that your PS5 is in safe mode. Connect your controller with a USB cable to the PlayStation and navigate it to the clear cache and rebuild the database option. Within that setting, choose clear system software cache. Select OK and that's it. On the Xbox One, the process is the same as the PS4. Power the console off and unplug the power cord from behind the Xbox. Keep it like that for 30 seconds and then plug it back in. That should clear the cache. For Xbox Series X and S, do the same but then keep it unplugged for about 2 minutes. Easy peasy. If you'd like to buy some V-Bucks and or skins for your favorite Fortnite account while also helping the channel out, use the link in the description and in the comments to use my Amoeba affiliate program to make your purchases. That will really, really help a lot. Moving on, we have the smartphones. This will work on Android and iOS. To fix insane stuttering and FPS drops, go to your game settings by clicking on the profile icon at the top. Then go to your settings cog. From there, you will see the video tab. 
increase your frame rate to 60 fps this ensures that the game can actually go above that 30 fps threshold and give you a smoother gameplay moving on to the graphics quality you can go to your quality presets set that to low go to your texture quality and also set that to low and then turn pre-downloaded cosmetic textures to on this setting will pre-download all the textures in the game so it will take up more space but give you a smoother gameplay Lastly, turn on show FPS and monitor your FPS while playing. I play on a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the experience is kinda crazy. Are you on Android or iOS? Sometimes the problem isn't on the PC, console or smartphone side, but rather on the internet side of things though. Do a quick speed test and see what your download and upload speeds are. I normally use speedtest.net since they are pretty well known and give you enough information to work with. Your ping should be below 60 or at least close to 60 ms, depending on the type of internet you are using. And you should be getting at least a decent amount of download and upload to ensure a smooth gaming experience. If you have a slower internet connection, the bandwidth might be the problem. So if someone else does something simple like browsing social media or watching a video on YouTube, your ping and stability might be affected. So keeping all these tips in mind, let me know if any of these helped you and if so, what the difference is that you're actually feeling and seeing. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoy FPS games in general and Fortnite specifically, I am starting a journey on Fortnite where I'm gonna play live for a hundred days to see how good I can actually get in the game. So I would love to see you guys there just to get some input and just to be a part of the actual community all right with that being said i'm streaming every single day from mondays to fridays except wednesdays at around about 7 to 8 p.m cat all right see you there guys cheers